vary greatly across the NHS, depending on where you live, and can be inadequate and patchy. The report says more needs to be done to tackle the symptoms of obesity, such as heart disease and diabetes. Dominic Hughes reports. Today's report warns that obesity in the UK is now more frequent, more severe, and is occurring at younger ages than was thought possible even five years ago. But the Royal College of Physicians says not enough hospitals are connecting weight management with other related conditions like heart disease, diabetes and arthritis. And one of the report's authors says there is too much variation in the quality of services across the NHS. If nothing is done, we are going to find that the problems get worse. We will be missing the opportunity to manage patients with obesity effectively, which is cost saving. For example, if you take surgery for severe obesity, we know that the money that's invested in the surgery is actually recouped within three years. It is completely crazy that we are not making these treatments more readily available to save the health service money. The report says the NHS faces a growing challenge from obesity. Around 25% of adults are now obese, but that's expected to rise to more than 50% by the middle of the century. It's estimated the current cost of treating obesity is £5 billion a year. The Department of Health in England says the medical profession has a key role in providing advice and treatment for obesity. But today's report says ministers must act too, making sure every government department is working to tackle a problem that is blighting more and more lives. Dominic Hughes, BBC News.